Welcome back guys, I am Dr. Apurva, a medical graduate from India. I have been getting so many queries on how to do Anki and what is Anki and how Anki can help you to boost your memory power and convert short term memory into long term memory. Okay, So basically if you don't know anything about Anki, Anki will give you a spaced repetition algorithm which will help you to boost your memory. Like for example, if you make a new card today, it will show you the card for revision for the next day. Uh, that means after one day and after one day it will show you the same card after three days and after three days it will show you after seven days then 14 days then 28 days and so on so this spaced repetition will hammer your long-term memory and it will be stored into your hippocampus okay so that's basically anki now anki is available in various platforms you might download windows version or you can download anki in your mobile uh, the ios version is paid like if you want to make cards in ios you might have to pay for anki so let's say you have downloaded the anki software into your desktop and i'll show you how you can make cards to boost your memory so once you have downloaded you have two options the first one is if you have any pre-made deck like for example if you are preparing for us assembly there are several pre-made deck already out there like for example zanki or anking or dorian deck or any of the decks which are available if you have pre-made deck then you can choose the file option and then click on import button then select the deck wherever it is downloaded okay you can download that pre-made deck and then later on you can click the open so entire deck will be imported into your anki software okay so one way is that you can import the pre-made deck and later on if you find that you want to make your own deck then you can click the create deck button okay let me make a demo deck for you let's say i made a demo deck okay now this is your own deck so you can make your own cards in this deck to aid your memory now before moving towards making the cards there are several options which are to be tweaked in order to optimize your learning experience now after you have uh, made a demo deck uh, if you click the settings icon here and click the options it will give you several options now by default the settings of Anki are not that good so you might have to tweak a little bit for example if you press the new card there are several steps here like if you are shown any card like for example what is the cause of primary dysmenorrhea and if you are unable to answer that card okay you might press the again button and it will show you the card again in 25 minutes so if you enter 25 here it will show you the wrong card again in 25 minutes to learn now if you are able to answer like like for example if the card is what is the cause of primary dysmenorrhea and if you are able to answer that prostaglandins are the main cause for primary dysmenorrhea and hence you give NSAIDs as a treatment for primary dysmenorrhea so if you are able to answer that card you have to press the easy button so that it will show you the card again in next 1440 minutes that means after one day so if you are able to solve that card today it will show you that card again tomorrow so basically that the, they are the steps of solving the Anki cards so I made a two-step card procedure now uh, the order is like if you make a specific sequence like if, if i made 40 cards today it will show you the same 40 cards tomorrow in the same sequence so you can uh, either select the option as show new cards in random order or you can select show new cards in order added i prefer show new cards in order added now new cards per day you do not have to change this because it is according to algorithm 9999 keep it as it is graduating interval means after the number of steps are over what will happen to that card like for example if you are solving a card you have chose the easy button it will show you after one day but what will happen after one day that will be your graduating interval so i kept the graduating interval as three days so if i solve a card today it will show me tomorrow and then it will after uh, after that show me after three days so that's basically graduating interval now some of you might be confused then what is mature card anki says that any card is mature which has passed the duration of 21 days so if you solve the cards for duration of 21 days that card is said to be mature okay i kept the easy interval as four days and starting is as 250 person okay keep it as it is now this option is like bury related new cards until the next day like if you have uh, made a card and it has two close deletion which i'll show you then it will bury the related card until the next day which i will show you later on so that was about the new cards settings 
then you have to click the review button and keep the maximum reviews per day as same 9999 easy bonus as same 150% and the interval modifier as 100% keep it as it is but the number you need to tweak is this one maximum interval this would depend upon how long is your preparation time and how long is your exam time some of you might be keeping this as 180 days and I kept it as 40 days like for example if my exam is just after three to four months I don't want any card to be left more than 40 days like I want to see every cards after 40 days so you can modify it modify this interval if you are very near to exam then you can click on 28 days you can write 28 days or if you are little far from exam then you can keep it as 40 days that's not an issue but make sure you modify this according to you now the lapses one keep all the settings as it, as it is but only one modification here that if, if you press any card as wrong for continuously four times that's called a leech card by Anki so if you mark any card as wrong for continuous four times that card is marked as leech card and change this as uh, what will happen if you mark any card as leech uh, change this to tag only you don't want the card to be suspended make sure you tag that card because if you are continuously making that card wrong that cards need to be tagged for your later review so make sure you change this one otherwise everything is okay this is the setting of my add-on okay so now you are uh, good to go now once you have modified the settings you can also change the, your preference here like if you go to uh, tools and preferences you can also change your preferences you can select your language okay if your software is a little bit slower then you can click on hardware acceleration and you can uh, select night mode here so click it out on your own and select as per your needs uh, this is kind of important like when will your next day start I have kept this as 5 a.m. so whatever cards I solved today if I marked them easy the next card will be shown after 5 a.m. so uh, you can keep any time whenever you wake up like 7 a.m. or maybe uh, 10 a.m. or whenever you wake up other things are okay like uh, if you are if you if you want that your cards to be synced in your android device and your maybe in the windows platform and same in the ios platform then you might have to log in to the anki and check the synchronize button okay so your both audio and images will be synchronized okay uh, please tick mark this one backups keep it as 50 backups okay so now if once your settings are over now you are ready to make your own cards now let's say you have created this custom uh, uh, let's say you have created this uh, demo deck you have to click this demo button and after clicking on the demo button click on add card okay so this window will open <coughs> now I have there are several cards type you can uh, choose the basic card like which will show you front and back classic front and back like for example if you type anything here my name is Apurva uh, no so suppose what is my name on the back one you can write my name is Apurva okay so this is simple front and back card but most of the time I use the close type card close type card means like for example my name is Apurva okay so after you so after you have typed this statement you want to hide the keyword okay like for example I want to hide the keyword Apurva so I can just make a close deletion out of it you can click either this button this is called closed deletion button or you can click Control shift and C so this will be closed now and later on you can add this card okay so this is your first card you can just add close deletion like this if you are studying from any Q banks or if you are studying any video lectures okay then you can also add cards uh, maybe in this way like for example if I am solving this question uh, like for example if I am solving and I want to mark this question here what I can do is I can just write the entire question here in the text box and I can later on highlight some important things let's say a 39 oh, 39 year old woman comes to you and she has a history of hypertension also asthma and after prolonged labor she delivers a 4.1 kg baby with the help of forceps 
okay i'm just highlighting some important things which will just uh, make your process much more pacer it will fasten your process after uh, during the delivery of the placenta excessive traction is kept and there is placenta is removed manually and ultrasound shows a thin endometrial strip okay 60 minute after the delivery the patient is soaked by manual examination give up 300 millimeter of cloth is expressed the uterus is soft above the umbilicus what is happening here she is still bleeding and i want the answer to be uterine atony okay so i can write here that after you uh, read the question uterine atony should be in the close section so this is how you can make a close deletion of any question and if you want to add any images here like for example if you want to add Let's say this is not a relevant image, but let's say you want to add this image here. That let's suppose this was the image of uterine attorney, you can add this image here. Okay, so this is your complete card. You can make a card like this and you can add this. So this is how I make cards for my step two preparation. And you can let's uh, let us just check the cards which we already made. Like this is our demo deck and i made two cards let's press study now the first question is my name is what so after you press the space bar you can see that this is my name is apurva then you have the three options whether you are able to answer then you can press good that means if you press good it will show you the card after one day if you press it easy it will show you the card after four days if you press you know again it will show you after 25 minutes depending upon how you can answer it the next one is like the same question 39 over year old woman after a prolonged labor she is having continuous bleeding what is happening okay now if you press the space bar it will show you the answer first of all before pressing the space bar you have to be honest to yourself that whether i'm able to answer the answer or not okay like if i'm able to answer uterine atony then you can press the good button it will show you after one day then after three days then after seven days then after 14 days so this is how you can use enki for any exams or maybe uh, for learning any languages if you are learning english if you are learning french you can make your own cards and ace your preparation like this all right that was all about i know about enki but later on you can also tweak all the features guys you can add your add-ons here if you go to tools and click on add-ons there are several add-ons i have added uh, the the most important add-on for me is this one speed focus mode uh, so like if you if you are sitting idle for 30 seconds it will just uh, beep for once so that if you are in your dreams you will come back to study so that's the most important one for me right now but later on you can just go through these add-ons as well so that was all about this video right now happy studying and i wish you all the best if you have any queries you can definitely put those queries into the comment section i'll be happy to help you and if you want to connect me and if you need my advice on how to prepare on step one and if you need my advice on how should you go for your uh, mbbs curriculum or your neat curriculum or your usml preparation then you can contact me directly on instagram i'll be happy to help you goodbye till then and Stay blessed. Bye-bye.